Hello children, tonight we're going to read together Alby by Andy Cutbill. It was just another ordinary day. Alby was sitting in his paddling pool when... Um, excuse me, asked the hippo, can I borrow a towel? Alby was stunned. What are you doing in my paddling pool? he asked. Your paddling pool, replied the hippo. This is my watering hole. And he picked up the rubber pool and charged off. Wait, shouted Alby. He ran off after the hippo, straight into a tree. Ow, shrieked Alby, as a zebra holding a TV set fell on top of him. What on earth do you think you're doing? asked the zebra. Oh, I'm sorry, said Alby, but I'm hunting for a hippo. Well, you won't find any hippos here, said the zebra. Why not? asked Alby. Because hippos can't climb trees. Meanwhile, back indoors, Alby's sister, Mary, was sitting down to watch her favorite television program when... Albie! yelled Mary. Where's the TV? Flips! gasped Albie. Scarper! yelled the zebra, and he shot back up the tree. Albie fled into the long grass. Do you mind? cried a herd of buffaloes. It's polite to knock. Oh, I'm sorry, said Albie, panting. Um, my sister, she's after me. She thinks I've got the TV. Albie stopped. That's our bath, he said. From our bathroom? Oh, yes, said one of the buffaloes. We were borrowing it. But Mary will go mad, spluttered Albie. Albie! came Mary's voice. Is that you? Oh, Flips, cried Alby. Run for your lives. Mary waded into the long grass. Alby, yelled Mary, but Alby was already heading to the garage. Phew, said Alby. I'll be safe here. Care for an anchovy cocktail? came a voice. Well, Dolby, what are you doing in the freezer? We thought we'd have a party, said the penguin. Lovely weather for it, don't you think? But you can't, panicked Albie. My sister will go berserk. We'll invite her too, said another penguin. Albie, shouted Mary, opening the door. Where's the TV? Then Mary saw the mess. What on earth are you doing? She gasped. It's not my fault, said Albie. Really, said Mary. It's the penguins in the freezer, said Albie. But it was the zebras who borrowed the TV, sneered Mary. You've met them too? asked Albie. I was kidding, screamed Mary. It's not fair. The hippo started it. He stole my paddling pool. Uh, this paddling pool, by any chance? Screeched Mary. But, 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 said Albie. I've had enough, Albie. I'm telling on you, said Mary. And she stomped towards the kitchen door. I'm in real trouble now, Albie sighed. Silly paddling pool. Stupid hippo. Me? Stupid? said the hippo. Well, you can keep your silly paddling pool. I'm making a much bigger watering hole. Where? asked Albie. Over there, said the hippo. I'm just waiting for it to fill up. <gasps> Look at everything that's happening here. Oh my God. And his sister Mary screams. Flip, said Albie. The end.
I hope you enjoyed it. I will be seeing you tomorrow night. Bye!